Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to learn the very basic introduction about JavaScript. So let me start with the program. So JavaScript it's like a client-side scripting language where normally it is used for validating some data. For example, I'm creating a folder here. So I'm creating a document. So <clears throat> JavaScript JavaScript is a client side programming language or we can call it as a client side scripting language used for validating the data so we'll start so we can insert uh, javascript inside html so i'll be creating a html then head HTML, then we have a head section, then we have uh, the end of head section, then we have a body section, then we have a end of body section, and we have a end of HTML section. So we can uh, insert JavaScript anywhere in our HTML program, but normally it is placed inside the head section. To insert that, so we have to use something called a script tag, so script followed by the attribute style sorry type text slash javascript then we have to close the script so we can insert javascript inside any tag but uh, the normally they will insert uh, javascript inside the html where you can insert uh, javascript inside body tag also that is not a problem but normally they will insert uh, javascript inside head tag so every uh, language they will have something called as a printing statement here in javascript we will be having a printing statement called document.write line document.write line hello so now we can save this say js1.html so now we can go to the folder and we can run it so what you will get is uh, the output hello so this is the very basic example normally to insert javascript it should be inserted inside the head section of html so other way of including javascript is script language equal to javascript that is another way but i am going to use something called uh, the older way like uh, script type equal to text slash javascript then, so to create a variable inside JavaScript, normally in any programming language, to create a variable, we'll be creating something called as a data type. For example, for example, a data type followed by the variable. But in JavaScript, since it's a loosely coupled uh, scripting language, that means uh, no need to create any data type. Automatically, it will uh, assign uh, a data type for a value. For example, if we assign a number is considered to be an integer if you assign a string it is considered to be a string so the default data type is var var is for variable so we can assign var a equal to some 10 and we can assign b equal to 20 since i have assigned a equal to 10 which is an integer value this var is considered to be an integer suppose if i assign var name equal to hello within double quotes it is assumed to be a string so I am printing. So if, if you don't want to use uh, uh, var, you can simply give a equal to b, b equal to 20 like that. So you can take c, c is equal to a plus b. Then uh, again, I am going to use a printf statement, document dot write ln of the sum is for displaying the information to the user plus c. Please c is a concatenation. It will concatenate the value of c with the sum is. Now if I press F5, it will be getting the result as hello the sum is 30. So let me revise. So to print something in a JavaScript, we have to use document.writeln and JavaScript is a loosely coupled scripting language. And suppose if I want to get the value from the user, we'll use another statement called window.prompt. Window.prompt or simply you can use prompt. For example, enter a value which will get the value from the user in the form of prompt box. So again, window dot prompt 
entire p value so now if i print uh, c is equal to a plus b we'll see what happens so we'll be getting a prompt area in which you can type uh, the value of a for example 10 and the value of b is 20 now what is what you are getting is the sum is 10 20 so like i said uh, java script uh, is a loosely coupled uh, scripting language in which it assigns automatically a data type to uh, a variable for example if you use window dot prompt if it gets any value by default it will take that as a string so now a is considered to be a string again b is considered to be a string if you add two string it will be get concatenated and it is printing like 10 20 here the 10 is considered to be a string and 20 is considered to be another string so how to get the data or how to get the result so what you can do is you can convert string into an integer so in javascript uh, we learn something called as uh, integer.parsint so that we have to use the same thing instead of integer you have to use something called as parsint so let me convert this st string into integer with the help of parsint now we'll see what happens in the rest let me press f5 10 20 now the result you are getting is 30 suppose i don't want to print the data in a web page instead i want to print uh, information in something called as a message box or alert box there is an option available called alert alert statement so which will print everything in a alert box for example again i will be giving a value 10 20 and the sum is 30 is printed in the alert box so in our next tutorial we are going to learn uh, we are going to solve some of the anonymity questions or the problems they have asked in anonymity question so please subscribe this video for more updates thank you